Hey guys, it's Tom here on another really late night uh, studying Ethereum and I just wanted to give you a really cool way to really jump in the deep and just start really learning Solidity and this incredible blockchain code that we can start uh, doing all sorts of things with. And one of the best ways is to download the Mist browser and once you've downloaded it, uh, you can jump on the test network by going to develop network and go click onto test network and you can start mining. But you don't even need to start mining, okay? That does take a little bit of time to get a little bit of test ether. What you can do is go to the contracts and you can press deploy new contracts. And what you can do is then go over to ethereum.org uh, and scroll down and say, for instance, you want to design and issue your own cryptocurrency. You can press issue token. And these are some of the main functionalities behind this whole uh, computing platform. Uh, and that's all the code there, right there. But I'm going to go down to get the full code, which is this one down here. And just select it all. Don't worry about trying to study it right there. But select it all. Um, you can put it in some type of environment. But just trial putting it in the missed wallet. So over here. And deploy a contract. Um, and just paste it in here like so and wait for the software to actually process it. And then what you're going to find on the right hand side here is basically all the methods to this this contract. So there's my advanced token and you'll find these terms in the contract. So if I click on that it brings up all these fields here. And if we scroll down, now where is it? We'll probably see my advanced token. So there it is. And we've got initial supply, token name, what we want to call it. Um, how many decimal places, the symbol, so like some type of string. I think you can do up to four four letters, maybe more. Um, and central miner, so a, a, another Ethereum address that can go and mine these if that's what you want to do with this. So that's just one quick look at a some code, uh, just deploying a smart token. And you can go through and do the same with a uh, kickstarting a trustless crowd sale. Uh, which I don't really think it's a very good idea to call it a trustless crowd sale um, because there's too many people have associations with uh, trustless, uh, which is not really a very good word to use. I think that could be phrased better, just kickstart a authentic crowd sale would be, which, um, or a workable crowd sale. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, create a democratic organization. Instantly you can go and press start your organization. And... You know, without any type of development environment, you can go and grab the code. So I'm going to go and grab this code right here. Whoops, let's select the whole page. And jump over to the wallet. Delete all that. Paste this in. So the software analyze the code. All right. And so we've got Congress and owned in here. Uh, is the first two executable methods of this contract. So if we click on Congress, uh, it asks for a quorum. So a quorum means uh, when somebody, a service provider, submits a contract to this contract, what percentage of yeses is required from the votes that are submitted in order for the contract to be funded. So, uh, and then minutes for debate is how long do we allow for this voting period to happen. Um, margin of votes for majority and Congress leader is somebody who can have a bit more power. But it's about just going through and having exploring and playing around. So that's what it's like to do uh, contracts on the Ethereum, use it, looking at contracts using the Ethereum Mist browser. The other thing I wanted to show you, which is really cool, is you can go over to etherscan.io and click on verified contracts. And here is, uh, I remember when there was literally only like 10 contracts up here. But here you can come along and you can look at verified contracts. So you can look at the contract that the Slocket DAO crowd sales have happening, having. Um, what else is there? There's, this is 10 pages worth, it seems. So uh, there's a swap contract. So we could actually click on that. And you can go and actually get the code right here. And you can paste it straight into the Miss Browser. Uh, 
and take a look at you know what the swap functions are. So there's a send ether, address a token, and a price in Finney, which is Finney is one thousandth of an ether. I think it's one thousandth. Oh, there it is, yeah. One thousand Finney is one ether. All right, so, and then the duration of the swap. So there's some pretty interesting things to look at. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> there's a lot you can explore uh, just by literally going through and, and having a look at, um, you know, what, what you can edit in these contracts. So I thought I'd just sort of share that as a pretty cool way to just sort of jump in the deep end and start exploring the functionality behind the, all these contracts. Here's the DGD. I don't know what that is. But that's something else. I thought it was. It. There's the DAO. We go and have a look at the DAO type contract. And here it is. And another interesting thing I will point out. So it's quite a big contract. It is one of the biggest written so far. Takes a while to load. Still waiting. I'm still waiting. Okay, looks like it's loaded now. Nope, still waiting. All right, maybe now. Okay, good. So there's the DAO. And there's a bunch of inputs and DAO interface. Nothing there. DAO creator. Managed account. Account interface. Token. Token creation, which we'd be doing inputs on the on on the execution of this contract. Um, under token, if we have a look in here, there'll be all the, the sending functionality. Token creation interface. Token interface. So, yeah, it's, there's a lot to explore um, and a lot that we can learn from just by simply doing that method. So, if you like this video, definitely subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm always just trying to share the uh, blockchain message and uh, have a wonderful day.